In one of the most remote and least developed places in the world, Magda Witapo is growing vegetables. Her village in the highlands of Papua, Indonesia's most eastern province, is reachable only by air and is seldom visited by outsiders. It's a place where development projects have had little success. Tribal customs are strong here, and for women like Magda, it means that they have no say over their lives. Men decide how women should think, live, and act. Then a pilot project initiated by the UN Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, and the government of Indonesia gave women here independence and a promising future. The idea is simple. Facilitators work with village leaders to identify problems and find solutions. Training in proposal writing and budget preparation helps to transform ideas into reality, says leader Isalek Lani. But this is not what the male village leaders had in mind. They didn't want to change the role of women, but they did want to make more money. And as agriculture is their main source of income and women are the farmers, after three months of discussions, the men finally agreed to allow women to receive training in agricultural and financial management. After two years, for the first time, women have their own bank accounts. <laughs> Magda is making decisions beyond the group too. The money she earns from selling vegetables quadrupled her family's income. Now she is putting away cash for her son's university studies. As primary breadwinners, women are now treated with respect and have far more independence in all aspects of their lives. The project's success comes from focusing on local needs rather than importing solutions from outside the region, says IFAD's program manager Ron Hartman. Papua itself is quite a challenging environment. It's very remote. Um, culturally, it's, it's very different to other parts of Indonesia. Um, and the difference that this project, I think, has made is that it's been tailored specifically for Papua and the populations therein. It uses the social structures that are actually on the ground rather than transposing something from outside on them. Um, but the main point is that it, it really supports the potentials that they have in agriculture, which is so important for their livelihoods. This pilot project is already operating in more than 200 villages in Papua and may get much bigger. Based on its success, the Indonesian government plans to replicate it across the country, which would benefit tens of millions of people. This report was produced by Joanne Leviton for the United Nations.